Alright guys, welcome back to the next episode of Project Delta Ranger. This is our 2021 Ford Ranger STX, and today we're going to be addressing one of the weak points of the Ford Ranger, and that's going to be the suspension, right? Very common mod for almost everybody to install, uh, one of the first modifications. Our truck being an FX4 actually comes with the FX tuned uh, struts, however, they do leave quite a bit to be desired. So today, we're going to be fixing that. We're going to be installing the IVAC Pro Kit system. That will include a 3-inch lift on the front with their coilover setup, along with the shocks for the rear. In addition to that, we're going to be installing some ready lift anti-intrusion or crash bars in the front. That's going to make room for our larger 33-inch BF Goodrich tires once we get those installed. We're gonna get everything installed right now. We're gonna give you a little bit of feedback about what we think about the suspension afterwards. So follow along with us. Be ready for the next episode real soon. Remember, uh, earlier in the episode, we installed the IBAC Pro Truck 2.0. Uh, it's a three inch leveling system, raises the front of the truck up three inches, and then it also replaces the rear shocks. Um, initial impressions after the install, we were still riding on the stock wheels and tires for a little while. Uh, definitely an improvement over stock. Um, I wouldn't go as far as to say night and day difference, uh, but definitely an improvement in overall uh, road handling and general day-to-day -day comfort of the vehicle. Uh, that floaty, underdamped feeling that these trucks are notorious for, especially our truck being an FX4, which seems to be the worst suspension package you can, you can uh, option on one of these trucks. Uh, that floaty, kind of uncertain feeling that this truck had on any sort of highway speed is completely gone. Uh, it's also a little more confidence-inspiring in turns as well. Uh, so that's a nice benefit as well. I will say though, however, that once we installed the larger wheels and tires, the 33 inch BF Goodrich KO2s, uh, the suspension seemed to really settle in a little bit more. Uh, I think that perhaps the suspension was a little stiff or over damped for a stock wheel and tire package and adding that extra weight of the larger wheels and tires helped to kind of pair that together. So uh, definitely feels really good now with the bigger wheels and tires on it. Um, for in terms of a budget entry level system, I think it's a really good option. We're gonna get the Bilstein set installed really soon as well. And we'll get some feedback on that as well. Um, thoughts, I think that the Bilstein is probably gonna feel just a little bit better having that external reservoir in the rear shock, uh, but uh, we never know. So we're gonna test it out and we're gonna give you the feedback on that one as well.
Stay tuned, guys.